Hello everyone, welcome to our comments and answers TJ channel. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, we will analyze and respond to the questions from the study of the Watchtower for this week, which corresponds to the week of February 19th to 25th. The title is, How Can Young Sisters Become Mature Christians? Without further ado, let's begin. Let's look at question number one. What should we do to become mature Christians? To become mature Christians, it is essential to cultivate a close relationship with Jehovah, God. This involves dedicating time regularly to activities that help us grow spiritually. It is also important to allow God's Holy Spirit to guide us and help us develop good qualities and practical skills that enable us to live a life in line with Christian principles. Let's move on to question number 2. What does Genesis 1 verse 27 teach us? And what will we see in this article? Genesis 1 verse 27 mentions that God created man and woman separately and that they are different in physical aspects and the roles assigned to them. This difference in functions and roles also implies that men and women may need different qualities and skills to fulfill their respective purposes in life. Now, let's go to the first subtitle, Cultivate Qualities That Please Jehovah. Let's see questions number 3 and 4. Where can young sisters find good examples to follow? The Bible presents numerous examples of women who served Jehovah and demonstrated admirable qualities. These women can serve as role models for young sisters. A good resource to explore these examples is the article, What Do We Learn From The Women Of The Bible? available on jw.org. Congregations often have spiritually mature sisters who have demonstrated their faith and dedication to Jehovah over the years. Young sisters can seek guidance and support from these sisters in the congregation for their spiritual growth. Let's see question number 5. Why should mature Christian women be humble? Humility is a quality valued by God in His servants. Those who are humble can enjoy a close and harmonious relationship with Jehovah, allowing them to receive His favor and blessing. Humility leads mature Christian women to respect and support the principle of authority that God has established in the congregation and the family. They recognize that God has assigned certain responsibilities and roles within these realms and are willing to submit to them in obedience to His will. Let's move on to question number 6. How can young sisters imitate the humility of Rebecca? As mentioned in Genesis 24 verse 58, Rebecca also showed humility by submitting to God's plan and trusting in His guidance. Young sisters can imitate this humility by respecting the principle of authority and thus recognizing their dependence on God in all areas of their lives and submitting to His will. In addition, by imitating the humility of Rebecca, young sisters can become a positive influence on their family and the congregation. Their humble attitude, combined with their respect for authority and confidence in God, can inspire others to follow a path of faith and obedience. Let's see question number 7. How can young sisters imitate the modesty of Esther? Esther valued the advice of her cousin Mordecai and followed it, despite her elevated position. She recognized the importance of seeking and following the wise counsel of those who loved and cared for her spiritual and physical well-being. Young sisters can imitate Esther's modesty by seeking and accepting good advice and mentorship from wise and mature individuals in the faith. This will help them grow spiritually and make wise decisions in their daily lives. Let's see question number 8. When choosing their way of dressing and grooming, how can sisters follow the advice of 1 Timothy 2 verses 9 and 10? When dressing, sisters should choose modest clothing that adequately covers their bodies. This implies avoiding clothing that is too tight, revealing, or provocative, which could unnecessarily draw attention or distract others from their worship and Christian testimony. Additionally, when choosing their clothing and style, sisters should consider how their choices may affect the feelings and perceptions of others. 
This involves avoiding garments or accessories that may be offensive or cause stumbling to others, especially those struggling with moral purity or temptation. Let's see question number 9. What do we learn from Abigail? Abigail demonstrated concern for the well-being of others by intervening to save lives and prevent conflict. Her discernment led her to act with empathy and sensitivity towards the needs and concerns of others, showing genuine concern for their physical and emotional well-being. The story of Abigail teaches us the importance of discernment in decision-making, wise communication, and sensitivity to others. This quality helps us act wisely and lovingly in various life situations, promoting peace, harmony, and the well-being of those around us. Let's move on to the second subtitle, Learn Practical Skills. Let's see questions number 10 and 11. What are the benefits of learning to read and write well? Being able to read well helps us understand the Bible effectively, allowing us to delve deeper into the knowledge of the scriptures and apply their teachings in our daily lives. Additionally, the ability to teach and share the Word of God with others is strengthened by being able to communicate biblical principles clearly. Reading and meditating on the Bible strengthen our friendship with Jehovah by allowing us to learn more about Him, His purposes, and His will for our lives. This contributes to deeper spiritual growth and a more intimate connection with God. Let's see question number 12. What does Proverbs 31 verse 26 teach you? The woman described in Proverbs 31 verse 26 is wise and speaks with wisdom. This implies communicating intelligently, prudently, and considerately, using words that build up and do not harm. The ability to listen attentively and understand the feelings and perspectives of others is fundamental in effective communication. The virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 verse 26 shows empathy when communicating with others, strengthening relationships and fostering harmony. Additionally, when communicating, it is important to consider the truthfulness, respect, and kindness of the words used. This involves thinking before speaking and ensuring that our words are true, encouraging, respectful, and kind. Let's see question number 13. How can you learn to manage a household? We can observe how our mothers or other mature sisters perform household tasks. Moreover, we can ask them to teach us step by step how to perform these tasks efficiently and effectively. It is crucial to practice to learn any skill, so we must dedicate time to practice different household tasks, such as cooking, cleaning, laundry, sewing, and shopping. With practice, we will improve our skills and feel more confident in performing these tasks. Additionally, we should learn from role models who are hospitable and service-oriented, and practice these attitudes in our daily lives. Hospitality is a wonderful way to share love and affection with others and can enrich our relationships with family, friends, and fellow believers. Let's see question number 14. What do you learn from what Crystal says, and what should you focus on? What I can learn from what Crystal says is the importance of acquiring practical skills, managing finances properly, being content with a simple life, and prioritizing spiritual goals over material goals. Let's move on to the third subtitle, Prepare for the Future. Let's see questions number 15 and 16. Why are single sisters a treasure? Single sisters are valued and appreciated in the congregation because their dedication, love, and example strengthen the congregation and enrich the spiritual experience of all its members. Let's see question number 17. What will help young sisters achieve the goal of serving full-time? What will help young sisters achieve the goal of serving full-time is praying to Jehovah, talking to those who are already serving full-time to learn about the requirements, jotting down concrete steps to reach the goal, and serving full-time to experience exciting opportunities in Jehovah's service. Let's see question number 18. Why is it important for a sister to be very careful when choosing whom to marry? Marrying the right person can significantly contribute to the emotional and spiritual well-being of both spouses. On the other hand, 
choosing the wrong person can lead to conflicts, stress, and difficulties in the relationship. It is important because the man she marries will become her head. This dynamic involves shared responsibility in decision-making that will affect both, so the man should share the same values and goals as the sister, enabling them to achieve them together. Let's see question number 19. Why can we say that being a helper is an honor? Being a helper in marriage is an honor because it involves playing a valuable and meaningful role in supporting and ensuring the success of the family, as well as strengthening the relationship with God. Let's see question number 20. What effect can a mother have on her family? A mother plays a vital role in her family's life by providing love, care, guidance, education, and emotional support. This contributes to the well-being and growth of her children in a happy and secure family environment. Let's see question number 21. How much do you value our sisters, and why? They have a measurable value due to their dedication and effort in their relationship with Jehovah, as well as their commitment to helping the congregation and leading in preaching. Now we will answer the review questions titled, What did you learn from these verses? 1 Timothy 2 verses 9 and 10. What I learn is that we should choose modest clothing that adequately covers our bodies. This involves avoiding clothing that is too tight, revealing, or provocative, which could unnecessarily draw attention or distract others from their worship and Christian testimony. Proverbs 31 verse 26. What I learn is that it is crucial to have the ability to listen attentively and understand the feelings and perspectives of others, which can lead to effective communication. Additionally, as Proverbs 31 verse 26 mentions, our empathy in communicating with others strengthens relationships and fosters harmony. Mark 10 verses 29 and 30. What I learn is that single sisters are valued and appreciated in the congregation because their dedication, love, and example strengthen the congregation and enrich the spiritual experience of all its members. Well, these have been the answers from the study of the Watchtower for this week. I hope it is very helpful to you, my dear brothers and sisters. We will be seeing each other next week with a new video. I send you a warm hug and may Jehovah bless and protect you always.